party is pretty much set up the way that I want it to be. So let's go out. Screw you, Dat my hell. Then see you later. I hate you. You're a damn spy. So we are now free to leave here. I am actually going to do that. Where is the station? Here it is. And we are going to go. And we're going to leave this accursed place. Never to return until probably after the next dungeon? Maybe. I can't remember when we actually get that item that I'm looking for. But we are free to leave now. And the first thing that I am going to do once we leave is get out of North Coral. But the second thing that I'm going to do once we leave the Gold Saucer is I am going to go to Fort Condor because it has unlocked one more battle for me. It is... Well, they're not that hard. I never really need to make more than about eight guys. I do lose money uh, by battling, but I gain more than that in experience and AP and I think money in battles on the way over there. So I'm going to go back to Fort Condor and I will let you know what I get when that is done. And for my efforts, I did get three turbo ethers at Fort Condor, but I got a couple more important things done during my trek. I did have to do a few extra battles more than just the journey across about five or six extra battles in order to get this done but i did get some important things done let's look at the least important thing first i did level up restore so now i do have regen it can be quite powerful but only when it's paired with all in my opinion so i won't probably be using that in any boss battle until it's absolutely needed and then i'll have it paired instead of just standing alone like that regen all can be quite good. More importantly, Soap did get up to level 3 on his limit. I don't think we got a chance to show off Stardust, right? Unfortunately, there are going to be a few limit breaks that I just don't get the opportunity to show off during the Let's Play. I will show them off at the end in a bonus video, but some of them, unfortunately, just are going to have to be skipped. Uh, we did learn... Howling Moon at level 3 begins fighting wildly. That does sound kind of good. I don't know. It doesn't sound as good as Stardust Ray to me, but Howling Moon it is, so he needs to use that a few times so that we can get the second level 3 limit break going. Speaking of second level 3 limit breaks, Olive has learned hers, which is called Pulse of Life. It fully restores all allies. It's pretty much a mega elixir from what I remember. Remember, but my memory might be a little shaky on that because I never use it and the reason I never use it is because by the time that she has learned that limit break I almost always have great gospel ready for her to use and we already passed it it's way up here learn limit skill great gospel do it this should be okay what damn it olive olive we are going to look at Great Gospel, fully restores all allies, makes them invincible one time. So it's pretty much a combination of Plant Protector and Pulse of Life, which is why I never use Pulse of Life. It's just something that I don't do. Once again, we will be showing off all of these in a bonus video. So we're going to change her to Great Gospel. That just makes sense. You know, it is... The first level 4 limit break that we have, let's show it off as much as we can while we still work on soap. Now, I could have brought the tiny Bronco with us this whole way, but for whatever... Do I go faster? Yeah, I actually do go a little bit faster in the buggy, so that might be one of the reasons that I always use the buggy. You don't actually have to always use the buggy here, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because I was wrong when I said that we needed to get the buggy in order to get a couple things done, or at least make them a little bit faster, because I could have used the tiny Bronco and it probably would have saved me some time and hassle, as it probably would right now if I was in it. But I left my tiny Bronco back in Nibbleheim, so it's back to Nibbleheim we go. Unfortunately, that does mean we have to go through Cosmo Canyon, which is kind of a twisty, turny road which does add time, and yes, the whole sky darkens every time you go to Cosmo Canyon. It's just that awesome of a place. 
it can control the weather immediately around it, even without a Mako reactor. So as the sky brightens up now that we are on the other side, hopefully I can find my tiny bronco. Now notice the color of the water in the ocean where the tiny bronco can go. And notice as we go past this river, the color of the entrance of the river as opposed to the shallow water where the buggy can go through. That is part of the reason that I forgot the tiny bronco can actually go through the river. I don't know what was going on with me uh, the last session. That was just having a big mind blank on a lot of things in this game. I think I said like two or three things wrong that session. That is uh, not like me and I don't like having made mistakes like that. But having the tiny bronco go through the rivers does make things a lot easier for me. I think it's because most of my memories in this game are end game. Not necessarily this mid-game here, but we should be good for a while. I think I know what is coming up now. Speaking of which, we need to head down to this continent here. And we need to head into this forest. We should find new enemies here, I do believe. It has been some time since we've seen new enemies. We have the slaps. Why do we have slaps? Can I steal from them? Oh no, you've berserked one of my characters. Whatever shall she do? Whatever shall everybody do? I was going to have them, like, attack anyone. Nothing to steal from the slaps, and I am no longer in control of this fight. But it doesn't really matter, they're berserked. Unless they're paralyzed. That is not good. These guys are not nearly as fast as I would like them to be for being berserked. Down go one of the slaps. This is going to take a long time. Unfortunately, Berserk does not add fury, otherwise that would be awesome. Everybody just go ahead and finish these guys off. They're quite annoying. And I got poisoned. Not that it really matters that much. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, and it made him sad. Damn you, I don't want him to be sad of anybody. I definitely don't want it to be him. So you need to use your limit break more than anybody else right now. Damn, you get a lot of experience for that one. I'll take the couple high potions. Ton of money, really. Uh, the sadness I am going to need to cure. I'm going to have to use another hyper. I did have to use that hyper on Olive in order to get her to get her second level three limit break. But we're going to continue heading over here. And right before I make it to the giant... I'm going to go with Mesoamerican Pyramid. In the southern continent, I am definitely going to drop a save. With that save done, let's head inside the Temple of the Ancients. There it is. It's time to go. This is the Temple of the Ancients. I know. I feel it. The knowledge of the Ancients floating. You could become one with the planet, but you're stopping it with the strength of will. For the future? For us? What are you saying? Do you understand? Because I sure as hell don't. She must be talking to someone or something here. Is it the planet? You're uneasy, but happy? Because I'm here? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I want to go inside. There was a guy up here. How you doing, dude? Black Materia. Look. He's number nine. There's a tattoo. And he's just gonna blow off? He, he turned white and float off? Did he die and his soul ascended? What's going on here? Hey, it's Sang. Sang? Of the Turks? Like, you know a different Sang, Fred. Uh, I've been had. It's not the promised land Sephiroth's searching for. Sephiroth? He's inside! Look, 
for yourself. Damn, letting Olive go was the start of my bad luck. The president was wrong. You're wrong. The promised land isn't like what you imagined. And I'm not going to help. Either way, there was no way Shinra could have won. Pretty harsh. Sounds like something you'd say. The keystone. Place it on the altar. We get the keystone back. You crying? Sang's with our enemy, the Turks, but I've known him since we were little. There's not a lot of people I can say that about. In fact, there are probably only a handful of people in the world who really know me. And he was one of them. Dude, I am still alive. Good to know, Sang, you're full of information for me. Let's put the keystone in. Spilled out the side there. But we descend down. And it's time for MC Escherville. This place is nuts. There's an old man there. Words, feelings, so many of them here. This place smells good. It smells the same as Cosmo Canyon. Fred, I know it's going to be tough, but don't give up. We can do it. We, we can? I don't know. There's an old man there. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't go up that first set of stairs. Instead, get into a fight. We should have new enemies once again. Since we are here, we have upgraded these guys. Uh, under Lizard? And uh, they're not even letting me look. Oh, they have frogs jabs still. This is not going to be good for me. Not going to be good at all. Frog jab is going to take away a lot of what I'm trying to do. Toxic frogs! Let me guess. Frog song? Frog song. 